Okay, guys, welcome back. Okay, what I think I want to work on today, um, the feats. Um, and they're not a quite, they're not difficult, but they're not as straightforward as you may think. We'll get another camera angle. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If, when you lay the feet out on something like this, you want to do it. If you look at the mahogany one here, the grain is running to the floor. So you can't just simply go across a piece of wood like I've got it laying now, or we're going to have all this cross grain, and that makes a very, very weak foot. So in order to get it to track the foot, if you will, typically it's a 45 degree cut. In other words, we're going to cut this on 45 degrees, and that becomes our bottom. And that causes the grain to track down the leg rather than across the leg. Does that make sense? It might be a little light for you to see, but I've traced out four of the feet. Don't need but three, but hey, better safe than sorry. Now what I'm going to do is, in other words, I've got one laid here, one laid here, now what I'm going to do is just bandsaw right down the middle just to separate. And then, now I've got two, you know, straight sides. Then I'll go cut my 45s and uh, go from there. Then we'll be ready to set up and work on getting our dovetails. Don't worry about cutting the feet out right now. And I'll explain that just in a little bit. So when we come back, I'll have this cut out, and we'll be ready to start dovetailing. It'll make more sense then. You can see the setup. Here's my 14 degree, three quarter inch dovetail bit. Got a little notch to hide it. So, you know. Now, be sure when you do something like this to make sure your stock here it's thick enough that your bit don't go back and hit your fence. Then I cut a piece of 3 8 inch shim stock to lay up here to check my height. And I adjust it to the height. Then I took my actual pedestal. and a combination square and checked the depth on it. And checked the depth on it. Then I ran just a sample and double checked it. Yeah, I'm okay. But I'm gonna say it again. Make sure you got a little bit of extra scrap to play with to get set up. Okay. That looks good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run all the legs.
Okay, this is now, this is where we just keep sneaking up on. So we'll be right back and keep sneaking. Okay, guys, just keep sneaking. Now, at this point, I want to mention something. If you're using a semi-porous wood, like mahogany, walnut, or something, make sure you leave your leg stock just a little thick, because it can chip out right here on this edge. The other thing to do is, on your first pass, cut very, very shallow. Very shallow. Just enough to score it. Now, the other thing I've done is I've also taken a knife and marked that line to prevent it. But leaving your th leg stock just a little thick, then you can go back to your sander and take a little bit off each side, and you're good. All right, this is my scrap. Let me see where I'm at. Well... I'm close. Actually, I'm pretty much there, but I'm a little too tight. So, this is where it gets dicey. I basically, I could do one of two things. I could take a little rabbiting plane and run down it, but I think I can just I moved it a breath. little too much. Okay. Now, remember me telling you 
don't try to cut out a foot and then do this to leave your blanks long. And the reason for that is if I overcut it, then I can come back and simply scoop my leg down, cut the dovetail off, and go again. Always leave yourself an out. Always. See what I got. Well, I'm still just a little bit snug. I think I can fine tune that one too. But, hold on. Get off your thing. Let me do the others, and then we'll come back. Now I'm going to show you something, and I set this up intensely because this happens. When you're using your sled, and you're cutting your flats, and you're cutting your dovetails, make sure the piece is down in the sled complete and that you're square across. If you don't, this is what happens. Uh -huh. This rotated, and this side got cut deeper and wider. Now, what's the solution? Well, actually, if you take just a piece of wood, a shim, if you will, and glue it in to fill in the gap. Now, it's going to stick past just a little bit here, but remember something. We're still got to go back on the lathe. And that's why you don't fit these feet up final until you've got all your turning done. And we've got, I mean, we're going to have everything done. The last thing is on the feet. Once the pedestal is completely done. Okay? Don't get your cart before your horse. Okay. I want to go. I don't want to get it in there right now because I got to cut. Yeah, we're good otherwise. So I'll glue a little shim in that. So next week we see the repair. Always got to have an out. Now, you know, this is, yeah, 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 I know I got the foot on upside down, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work for you. <laughs> but it does fit well. And look at this you can see can you see how wide the flat is here and how wide it is here and that's simply just from not having this thing sitting keeping everything straight okay let me see where I'm at 
Okay, guys, I know we're late with this show, and I know this is kind of a short show. Um, <laughs> I swear last time I was fighting a stiff neck, got over that, and then we had an audio issue. <laughs> I hope it's resolved. And then one of us got the flu, a cold, whatever you want to call it. If my nose looks like Rudolph, that's just because I'm getting ready for Christmas. But anyway, but I've still been at it, going as hard as I can. You can see in the back here, right behind me, there's a Tiger Maple pencil post coming together. Uh, I'll have it done here in a couple of days. And, but in the meantime, we're going to get another show up this week. If the good Lord's willing and the creeks don't rise. <laughs> okay. Got anything, Miss Sherry? Hard to get a word in edgewise around here, you know what I mean? Okay. Let me let her go get this show up, such as it is. We'll make it, I promise. <laughs> All right, guys. Catch you, catch you in a couple days.